Hello, everyone. Welcome to Love of Life. Mm -hmm. What's more delicious than a fluffy golden omelet? A fluffy golden mushroom omelet made with Chef Boyardee sauce with mushrooms. And Chef Boyardee sauce with mushrooms comes ready to serve. You don't have to add a thing. Chef Boyardee has already blended mushrooms, tomatoes, and just the right amount of spices and seasonings. Now let's pour this smooth, tempting, different mushroom sauce over our omelet. Fold the omelet. There. An omelet anyone would like. Golden brown, fluffy, bursting with delicious chef sauce with mushrooms. Get acquainted with all three Chef Boyardee sauces. Meat, mushroom, and the new Spanish sauce. Remember, these sauces are made with the same skill and care as the sauce that gives that delicious flavor to the Chef Ravioli we've told you so much about. Love of Light, the exciting story of Vanessa Vale and her courageous struggle for human dignity. the intelligent headmaster of this wonderful school van. Well, he had a class, but he said I could wait in his office until you were finished your visit with Beanie. Oh, that was extremely generous of him. What happened, Charlie? Oh, suppose we just forget it and go home. Let's go back to New York. I don't care if there isn't a train running. We'll hire a cab. What, for 60 miles? Come on, Charlie, what happened? Carruthers was right. The boy hates me. Oh, Charlie, Hates not... the wrong word. Pardon me. I'm not up on the new terminology yet. Yes, Beanie is rejecting me. Except that isn't what he meant. He meant hate. That's what he meant. He hasn't heard about the new terminology yet. Charlie, I'd like to know what happened. Will you tell me? I told you, Carruthers was right. Beanie thinks I've deserted him. Because you weren't at the sanitarium when he and his friend went there to help you escape or whatever? No, no, he's all growing up now. He said that and the business about going to Alaska with him was just dumb kid stuff. He's very sophisticated. Well, what then? What do you suppose? The divorce? That's right, the divorce. When I told him that Meg and I had gotten divorced, he turned cold and hard as an iceberg. I think I just slapped him across the mouth. Charlie, it's been a blow to him. You've got to admit that. All right, so he doesn't need me. I don't need him. I don't need him either. Charlie, you're behaving like a child yourself. Now, calm down. No. Yes, you're right, Ben. It was a stupid thing to say. How did you tell it to him? I told him that your beloved sister Meg and I had gotten divorced. Oh, come on now, Charlie. That's not the way you put it. How did you say it? Oh, you're right. No, Van, I... Oh, I was as good with him as I knew how. I explained to him that sometimes when people get married, they have bad luck. And their personalities just don't fit in all. And they're terribly unhappy, and they make everyone around them unhappy. What did he say? Nothing at first. Just stared at me. Those little angry eyes just glared at me. I told him that a divorce was to try to give everybody concerned another chance. What did I get for my pains? Oh, Charlie, Beanie's not trying to hurt you. He said I was a quitter. Okay. He said it was my fault. Okay again. And then he said... Oh, let's drop the whole thing. Come on, Van, let's Wait. go home. Wait, what did he say then? He said that just like she said, I was never thought of anybody but myself. Just like she said, I would run away and marry that other terrible woman in Paris. In case you don't follow the reasoning and you're wondering who the she is, he meant his virtuous mother, Meg. Did he say anything else, Charlie? No. Oh, plenty. I want to know. It's no concern of yours. I'm afraid it is. Well... 
Yes, as a matter of fact, I guess it is. But I don't think you want to know about it. Oh, no, you're wrong, Charlie. I've got to know. Well, it seems as if you're in for a little hate, too. How? No, you helped me. You helped me get this other woman in Paris. You helped me be a quitter. Et cetera, et cetera. What's the et cetera? Mm, go find out for yourself. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Go ask Beanie if you want to hear. Me, I'm through. I think I will, Charlie. No, oh, Ben. I didn't mean that. Don't go to see Beanie. Steer clear of it. At least for now. Wait here for me, Charlie. It'll break your heart, Ben. I'm going to talk to him, Charlie. what I mean. What of it? Is it all right if I ask you a question? I don't care. Why did you say those things to him? Everything I said to him is the truth. Everything? You sure? You're absolutely sure, Beanie, because if you're not, you're hurting him terribly for nothing. I said I don't care. Beanie, you're getting to be pretty much of a grown-up boy now. If I'm like him when I grow up, I don't want to grow up at all. Beanie, you don't mean that. I do mean it. He's a quitter. I think I know why you said that. Is it all right if I try to explain? Shh. Beanie, you and I have been friends for an awful long time. A long time ago, maybe. Not a long time ago, just a little while ago. What's changed your mind about me? Plenty, that's all, just plenty. Well, is it all right if I try to explain? Sure, but I know the truth. He doesn't like Mother and he doesn't like me. Mother explained it. I heard that your mother's been visiting you, Beanie. She told me all about that woman in Paris. That's all Dad cares about, that and himself. But, Beanie, that doesn't mean he doesn't love you. It has nothing to do with that. Mother said she'd been sort of glad to stay with Dad, but he wouldn't let her. She said that to you? Sure she did. So it's his fault. I told him all right. We don't need him, Mother, me, and Matt. We don't need him. What's Matt got to do with it? Plenty. He's on my side. How? He likes me. Oh, sure he does. We all do. If Dad likes me, then why is he getting a divorce from Mother? Why is he running away to Paris? Matt wouldn't do that. Beanie, I want you to answer something on your honor. I want you to answer very straight. It's terribly important. What? Did your mother say anything about Matt except that he liked you? Sort of. Why? Will you tell me what? Well, I asked Mother if Matt could ever be my father. Now that... I don't want to tell you, Aunt Van. You help Dad. Why should I tell you? What did your mother say about Matt taking your father's place? Why are you trying to spy on me? I'm Why are you Beanie. trying to spy on all of us? You're on Dad's side, aren't you? There aren't any sides, Beanie. Yes, there are. And now I know who's who, too. It's you and Dad against me, Mother, and Matt. Beanie, that's not true. It is. And you're a traitor. If you want to be a traitor, all right, but get away from me, because I don't want you around here, Aunt Ben. I don't want to see you ever again. Get away from here. I don't want to see you ever again. Sorry, I apologize. It's not your fault, Charlie. I don't know what to say. Nothing to say. Ben, there in Carruthers' office, when I said that it really was your business, did you know what I meant? 
Yes, I knew. If you are in love with Matt Slocum, this uh, thing with Beanie has quite a lot of meaning. I know, Charlie. Do you really? Ben, Meg wants that man very badly. I said I understood. Ben, I'm going away, maybe forever, I don't know. I'm going to start a new life with Sandy. I have no choice. Well, it's up to you, Charlie. I've rid myself of Meg. Looks as if the price I'd pay is to lose my son. They, that may not always be, Charlie. Oh, I'm not kidding myself. What I want to say is not, not about me, because for better or for worse, I'm out of it now. I wish you well. No, I wasn't asking for a bon voyage line. I wanted to tell you something. I'd rather you didn't, because I think I know what it is. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway, and it's this. If you want Matt Slocum, if you love him, then, you've got to fight for him right now. She's a weird, strange, fascinating woman. She'll beat you. She'll find every weakness, and she'll destroy you to get All what right, she wants. All right, Charlie. Then, do you believe me? I don't know yet. I'm going to find out very soon, Charlie. I'm going to find out very, very soon. When you suffer pain, pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia, take Anison for incredibly fast, long-lasting relief. In fact, your own physician or dentist has probably already suggested Anison to you. Well, a glance in your medicine cabinet will show you why. Notice most prescriptions given you by your family doctor contain a combination of carefully selected ingredients designed to do a specific job. And it's the same with Anison, because Anison is like a doctor's prescription. That is, Anison contains not just one, but a combination of medically proved active ingredients in easy to take tablet form. It's this combination of ingredients working together that accounts for the incredibly fast, long lasting relief Anison brings you. That's why I say folks, when you suffer pain, the pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia, take Anison. Anison comes in handy boxes of 12 and 30 tablets, economical bottles of 50 and 100 tablets. Today, get Anison for fast relief. Well, the thorough and bitter defeat handed Charlie Harper by his son Beanie is pitiable enough. But what has really come out of this visit exceeds even that in its implications. Hello, friends. This is John McDougall. Say, next time you buy floor wax, be careful. Don't be fooled by so-called hard finish waxes that promise you longer wear. You see, that hard finish really comes from a shellac-like substance, not from wax. Look, here's what happens to that hard surface under strain. It cracks and whitens. It's so brittle, it actually turns into a fine powder. And when your shoes pick up that powder, it's tracked all over your rugs. Now, let's compare that with this piece of linoleum, polished with arrow wax. See how that finish stays bright and smooth with no cracking, no powdering? How easy buffing makes it shine like new. Why? Simply because arrow wax is rich in wax. Self-polishing arrow wax contains over twice as much wax as leading hard finish brands. And don't forget, arrow wax costs much less. You save up to 28 cents on every pint. Get arrow wax today. It's double rich in wax. Don't forget, be with us again on Monday for Love of Life. Enjoy Search for Tomorrow on the CBS Television Network.